So we have left Theodore Roosevelt National Park. We are now headed towards Yellowstone. We stopped for the night here in Glendive, Montana. And on the way in, we saw a sign for Hell Creek Music Store and 38-foot T-Rex. So we decided to stop and check it out. So since we're in Dinosaur Capital USA, we thought we'd go to a dinosaur museum. This one right here is closed, but check out the dinosaur out of the wall. Huh. Cool. We're back on the road again. The dinosaur museum did not allow us to take cameras or pictures in there, so sorry. Anyway, we are headed now towards Billings on our way towards Yellowstone. It is 96 degrees in the mountains here, and uh, we're hot. Chuck is hot. Right. We're on the road. After Billings, we continued south towards the east entrance to Yellowstone via Cody, Wyoming. Whoa! That's so cool. This is blasting right out of the rock. We were heading to Buffalo Bill State Park so that we could spend some time on the water. Alright, we got our site! I'm excited to be here for a couple of days. We had an amazing spot right on the lake. It provided the perfect escape from those 100 degree days. Bill State Park is located just outside Cody, Wyoming, which is also home to the Buffalo Bill Center of the West, a beautiful center that has five museums and a library featuring art and artifacts of the American West. Here we attended a public talk about the grizzly bear management program going on in the Yellowstone area. We're here at the Buffalo Bill Reservoir Dam. It's the lake that we're staying on. The dam at the end of it, there's a visitor center here. So this round chunk of wood here was used to plug up the flow of water through the, the conduits uh, that flowed through the dam. They would actually maneuver this down with divers and a crane and then let it get sucked into the, 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 the hole basically through the dam and stop the water flow. I can't imagine being anywhere near that as a diver putting this thing in. It's the end of the line. The Buffalo Bill Dam is 350 feet tall and was built between 1905 and 1910 after several failed attempts by various construction and engineering contractors, which is a very fascinating story. It was one of the earliest projects of the newly created Bureau of Reclamation, whose task was to make the desert bloom. Well that was the Buffalo Bill Dam, previously the Shoshone Dam because it's on the Shoshone River. As of uh, the early 1900s, it was the tallest dam in the world. It provides irrigation and electric power for all the communities surrounding this area and it was really neat to see. We're checking out a rock climbing spot that is not far from Buffalo Bill Dam, but it's in between two tunnels. So we've had to hike a little ways through tunnels to get here. Checking it out, seeing if we can maybe do some climbing. We've been at Buffalo Bill Reservoir State Park for the past few days. It's been really hot, so we've been really enjoying this spectacular lake behind me here. We have also been enjoying Cody, Wyoming. This was Buffalo Bill's ranching territory when, uh, I don't know, 1800s. And Cody is what's left over from kind of the town that formed around that. And it's a really neat place, very uh, western rodeo-like. We've had a good time here. And now we're headed towards Yellowstone. We're hopefully gonna stay in a uh, National Forest campground closer to the park.